That's right. Tell them another section of 3 by 12s laid crosswise. Will do. They need you? No, nah, not yet. It won't be ready to drive out for a half hour. Ingram knows what to do in the meantime. Okay, so we know the kook is sitting at 23A. Not here. That's right. And what's your opinion? My opinion is they should get the hell back here as fast as they can. Well, if he should let it go, is there any chance that the plane could stand the explosion? Well, we got one break. He's not sitting in an aisle seat. So, first, it'll blow out a hunk of the fuselage right here. And what kind of structural damage would that cause? Luckily, there's nothing but skin on the sides. All the control cables run along here, so it's not too big a hole. She might still fly. But the sudden decompression at 30,000 feet is something you got to see to believe. He'll get sucked out, won't he? I think so, will anybody sitting next to him. Until that pressure equalizes, everything within 20 feet of him that's not nailed down or strapped in is going to get sucked right out that hole. Is it that powerful? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. When I was a mechanic in the Air Force, I was being transferred on a Matz plane. At 20,000 feet, one of the windows shattered. The guy sitting next to it was about 170 pounds. He went through that little space like a hunk of hamburger going down a disposal. And right after him, coats, pillows, blankets, cups, sausages. Yeah, I'm sure. Takes about three seconds, doesn't it? Three, four, five. Depends on the size of the hole. Everything fogs up just like that. And then watch out. That altitude, you can't breathe, so unless they get on oxygen in 45 seconds, it's goodbye. Mm -hmm.